the official racing soda from SCX Test Prep. We're going to look at using uh, the start light with a PC lap counter. We've got a total racing solution. I'll show you what we've got set up here. First of all, as you can see, we've got the standard pit box unit. We've got our DRS start light. Back in the back there, we've got a second computer running PC lap counter. I've got the primary one back over here behind us. This one is running what's called a zoom, so you can get a different look, and that's just showing the pertinent race information. And on top of that, we've got our little Android-powered uh, notepad down here uh, running another view from a computer back in my lab uh, using air display. So that's probably nerdy enough for you. The only difference with the start light uh, versus the standard operation is we've got a USB cable connected over to our main computer. I've uh, also got a big red button set up so I, I can uh, remotely control my unit. So I've set up a, uh, a race. Uh, PC lap counter keeps track of pretty much everything but we managed to power. So what we're going to do here is we're going to start our race. We're going to do it using the uh, SCX race start button on the console. So now we're ready to start the race and next time we push this button all the magic should happen. Here we go. Five, start that is to just push our big red button. Five, four, three, two, one. Drivers, one minute left. All right, thank you for that. I'm going to put my car back on the track. They scared me, you see that? over, power has gone out, car has stopped. Alright, 
we still in the hold condition? That's because we haven't reset our SCX unit. PC left counter knows this. So we're going to come back in here. We're going to push on our race start button. We're going to get the flash in green. Then we're going to get the light off. And then we're going to push the button to start the race. And once again, the magic happens. Five, four, three, two. 